U.S. officials have taken aim at North Korea over the recent death of Otto Warmbier, an American student who was detained by the regime for almost a year and a half. With anger mounting over Mr. Warmbier's death, the Trump administration is considering a travel ban on North Korea, as well as other measures to seek justice and accountability from the regime. Yoo Jun Hee reports. On Wednesday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Secretary of Defense James Mattis blasted North Korea over its mistreatment of American student Otto Warmbier, who died earlier this week. Their comments came after a meeting with top Chinese officials in Washington, where the two sides discussed a number of security issues, including Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs. Although the exact circumstances surrounding Mr. Warmbier's ordeal in North Korea remain murky, the U.S. has made it clear that they hold the regime fully accountable for his death. With pressure mounting for a tough U.S. response, the Trump administration is reportedly weighing up the option of signing an executive order to ban travel to North Korea. Over in Congress, lawmakers have also tabled a bipartisan bill to restrict travel to the North, which could gain fresh momentum in the aftermath of Mr. Warmbier's death. Although the U.S. government strongly advises Americans not to visit North Korea, it doesn't prohibit travel to the reclusive regime despite other sanctions targeting Pyongyang. A number of experts, including Christopher Hill, have also suggested the U.S. demand a full inquiry from Pyongyang over the exact whereabouts of Mr. Warmbier during his detention. Hill said North Korea is likely to do everything in its power to cover up the case and that Washington cannot allow this to happen. Funeral services for Mr. Warmbier will be held on Thursday in his home state of Ohio. A number of top diplomats and senators are expected to attend, although exact details have not yet been released. Eugenie, Arirang News. Yeah.